children today once again we are back in the science period today here during the science period we will be discussing about the project and the assignment children when we go for the project and the assignment the very important thing is your first sheet of the project and the assignment so here the first thing you have to do is write your name that is the name of the student below that you will write down the standard and the division so standard for you all is 7th and division whichever you belong to after that the subject that is your science then your sid number so whatever sid number you have you will be writing it down after that you have to write down the topic so for project you will have the topic but for assignment there will be no topic as such project when i discuss project was given to you in the month of may that is during your summer holidays in the project i have asked you to draw or stick the picture of the life cycle of the silk moth and explain the stages which are involved in it so children here you can use any method you can use any material which you have for making this project it should be your way your innovative way to present your project here children as we discussed on that meeting day also you have to draw the project that is draw the life cycle of the silk moth or you can stick the pictures it can be in the 3d form also so any way any means you can apply whatever is available to you but you have to explain each and every stage that is there so here children here on your screen you can see the the entire life cycle of the silk uh, this one silk worm you can see here you can see it is starting from the moth after the moth it's your egg then comes your larva or the caterpillars after it comes your cocoon then the pupa and then pupa again changes up into your moth so this is the entire life cycle of your um, of your this thing of your uh, silk worm so this is how you have to draw the entire life cycle of a silk worm here you can see individually also here first stage is your adult moth so adult moth is a large insect so here the female moth it lays about hundreds of eggs on the leaf of the plant that is your mulberry mulberry basically the female moth here lays these eggs during the summer season and these hatches out in the spring after the egg comes out to be your caterpillar stage the eggs now hatches out into the larva or the caterpillar which feeds on the tender leaf of mulberry this stage lasts for about 27 days after which the larva they shed their skin they are shedding their skin four times and this is said of molting after the process of molting they change into the cocoon cocoon here they cover themselves with a fine thread and this is nothing else but the protein as you know and this is either white or yellow in color it depends on the type of the silk after this cocoon it changes into a hard covering that is your pupa and this cocoon it remains as such and from this pupa now comes out the adult moth so children you saw here from the adult moth and then comes the egg then the larva or the caterpillar and then after that the cocoon and after cocoon comes your pupa so these are all the stages as you can say individually which are there within the life cycle of a silk moth so this is just what you have to do for your project after the project the next that comes up is your assignment the assignment is assigned on two topics that is nutrition in plants and heat here you have got five questions one by one i will be reading out those questions for you and explaining you and you have to write down those as answers in your assignment sheet and then you will be scanning them and you will be sending them 
sending them with the help of your class teacher so the first question here is i am white and soft i grow well in the rainy season children pluck me from the ground and admire me i Nutrients from the decomposers and the dead parts of plant and animal in the soil. So you have to identify who am I and name my mode of nutrition. So this is what you have to do. You have to go through that passage again and you have to identify the organism and its mode of nutrition. The second question is identify the figure and explain its importance. The figure is this one. So you have to identify this figure and then you have to write its importance. This is your question number two. Now question number three, the freezer is located at the top of data y so here this is based on your mode of transmission of heat so here you will be using uh, the concept of the mode of transfer of heat and you will write down the answer the freezer is located at the top of refrigerator and you have to write down the reason why fourth question how symbiotic bacterium called the rhizobium is important for the farmers as you know this bacterium uh, rhizobium is very helpful to the farmers how are they helping the farmers so here you can take the help of this figure and you can just refer this figure also and you can write down the answer fifth one the, the last one is discuss in brief about the mechanism of eating the insect by the pitcher plant as you know some of the plants they depend on these insects for fulfilling their uh, the nutrients so among that one is your pitcher plant here you can see the figure of it and so you have to write down the mechanism how this pitcher plant they catch these insects so these are the five questions for which you have to write down the answer and submit and these are your assignment questions this assignment questions you have to submit by 15th of august 8 pm so assignment submission date is 15th august today is 13 children you have got two days with you and you have to submit your submission on 15th august to your respective class teacher you will submit but before 8 pm not after that children you will follow the instructions which are already sent in your class videos through the uh, class group and you have to scan your assignment sheets and send which you have to convert it into save these pictures into the pdf file and then you have to change project submission this is all about your assignment project submission date will be announced later on so don't worry about your project also and keep it ready whenever we announce the date at that time you have to submit but the method of sending will be the same as you are sending for your assignments so here children i hope you have understood how you will be writing down your project how you will be writing down your assignments and how you will be submitting them to us by the mode of your class teacher okay and you have to complete your work and submit by 15th for the assignment and project dates will be given to you later on. Thank you.